What's up boys, MGDV here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today lads, we do have the second week of IRH Teams videos, boys. Basically, you send your teams on Xbox uh, messages or PlayStation messages. I've reviewed the team, it'll be in front of me like this. Uh, this is my, how my team's looking at the moment, it's Caligari and right mid if you can't see that. But uh, yeah, that's how the team's looking at the moment, lads. Get into the first team, thank you so much. If you do want to send them in, lads, link to join the Discord is down in the, Discord, um, down in the description down below. And you just send your team in or whatever, um, Xbox and PlayStation, I'll leave the... Links down and below in the thing as well to um, my Xbox gamer tag and stuff. And without further ado, lads, let's get straight into the first one. The first thing we do have, lads, is from Lido. Thank you very much for sending in as well. Um, looking at the team, I really, really like some aspects of it. It looks really, really good. Eto, obviously, still from your icon back early in FIFA. Klosterman looks insane. Also, lads, he has got his 90 upgrade as well. Um, but yeah, it looks like a really, really good team. The one or two upgrades I would make, he says he has around 100k. I don't know how is that more or less at the moment. But uh, first upgrade I would make is looking at that Coughlin card. I just don't really think it's up to scratch anymore. Um, fair enough, you might still do a job or whatever with the five-star weak foot and stuff. But I just think agility balance and his pace just isn't the best. So I would get him out and I would try and fit in um, either Cruz, his um, foot birthday, or looking at Koke from Atletico Madrid, his um, 91 foot captains. I think that would be a massive, massive upgrade. Around 93,000 coins at the moment, um, he'd fit in the team nicely. Uh, and yeah, I think I'd put him there. The next upgrade that I will be looking at, I know the Barcelona team and stuff is past and present is nice, but uh, just to get him on full chem as well and stuff, again, you might want to get some other key defender, but I would take out um, Pique for Eder Militao. I think that would be a massive, massive upgrade, save up towards him week in league after week in league, uh, or maybe, you know, some class team in the season comes out for less uh, coins or whatever. But yeah, I'd try and get Eder Militao in there for Pique, uh, and then I would try and get in Koke for Coquelin. But yeah, really like the look of the team out of 10. I'd give it um, an 8 out of 10, but if you upgrade them cards and stuff, it could easily be a 9. But yeah, for now, an 8 out of 10, uh, and moving on to the next one. The next team, lads, is from Pandaman. Um, okay. Right then, if anyone spotted it, uh, he's Kieran Tierney, 94-rated centre-back. 99 team of the year, Robertson, who didn't even get a team of the year. Pie face and goals, slab in centre-back. Uh, Patterson, right-back. Okay. Uh, he has James in centre-back, our centre attacking mid himself. Jordan Henderson, a uh, storyline card. He is Josh as well in cam, uh, and he is me up top. So, at least we got a 94 in a striker foot birthday. Uh, I kind of like the look of it, to be fair. But, yeah, we've Josh, uh, and we have him in there as well, lads. I'll leave a link to both of them down in the description down below. But, um, out of 10, that team is the first ever 10. First ever 10 on the channel, lads. Uh, and that team is the first one. That's, that's um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's something, to be fair. Something. So, yes, lads, James, um, AK Pandaman's first, uh, proper team. So, yeah, moving on to this one, lads. The first upgrade I would be looking at is going to be probably taking that bottom out. I just don't think he's fast enough. Uh, he just doesn't really look great, to be fair. So I would switch them around, put Saliba on the right, um, William Saliba on the right centre-back, and then I would bring in, on the left, Jules Koundé. The reason being, he'd be on full chem with everyone. Uh, he'd link to the French, you know, get Saliba on full chem, my nan on, or bloody Mandanda on full chem, uh, and he'd also link everyone on the left, you know, left-back um, Miranda and also Marino. So you get on full chem and everything. He's around 116,000 coins at the moment. That's the first upgrade I would do. Uh, and again, you, you could save up for that over the next few weeks, whatever you want, uh, coming into the team this season. You never know, there could be someone else you want as well. Um, then the next one I probably would do, and again, it could be kind of controversial or whatever, but what I would try and do is maybe bring in some other Portuguese player like um, Ronaldo or someone up you know up top or something, um, maybe for Jermaine Defoe, and leave him as a sub, just because I don't think he'd be that good on that much chem. Um, also, lads, look at his team name as well, sub Tim Ken Josh, what a man. But, uh, yeah, big ups to him as well and stuff. But, yeah, I would probably bring in Ronaldo or someone, or a version of Ronaldo, you know, Team of the Week, if you get him in red or whatever. Um, but really, really nice team. Definitely get Kunda. I think he could be a massive upgrade. Uh, and, yeah, out of 10 on the team, i give it a, a 7. I think I'll give it a 7, because it's getting there, but uh, there is still room for improvements and stuff. But, yeah, big ups as well, bro. Appreciate the thing. Uh, and also the meme and stuff team as well. Big ups. Thank you very much for that team. Moving on to the next one. The next team, lads, we do have is going to be for Sean. Um, and, yeah, look at this, this team, lads. Like, seriously. Uh, he says, my team, um, my teammate, all I from Icon SPC, has got Maradona 95 in the club too. Well, that just, that just makes me annoyed at the moment. But yeah, big up Sean as well. I appreciate the sending the team, bro. Um, looking at the team, there's not many upgrades you can make. There really isn't. Maybe Prime um, Cannavaro you could upgrade to Moments Maldini SPC or something. Especially if you've, you know, 95 Maradona in the club. You might want to, you know, put in a bit of fodder into that or whatever and stuff as well. Maybe looking at using maybe a Jermaine Defoe or someone up top. You can use anyone up top and anyone in midfield. So it kind of depends. If you want to get, you know, the likes of Chiuameni in midfield, you can throw out any card in the game you want. Uh, it's just a really, really nice team. I really, really like the look of it. Uh, and with the amount of icons, you can use any card in the game, which is a massive, massive bonus. 
Um, but yeah, I might try out maybe even, you know, grind towards an Icon SPC like a Cantona or an Henri or Vieira. You know, someone that a massively, massively upgrade your team. Or else you could just wait till team of the season. Because the team is absolutely brilliant. Out of 10, definitely a 9.5. One of the best teams I've seen um, on the episode series so far. Uh, and yeah, banging team there, Sean. Thank you very much for doing it. It's kind of up to yourself what you want to do. You know what you're doing. You're banging team there. Um, but yeah, maybe try and have... You know, upgrade to the next moments cards and stuff as well. But a uh, big, massive team. Thank you for that, bro. Moving on to the next one. The next team, boys, is going to be from Liverpool. I think this could be Harry, but if I do say it wrong, uh, I do apologize about that as well. But yeah, get into this team, lads. It is on 100 chemistry, 90 rated. Really like the look of the team. Some subs and stuff you have as well. Vinny Jr., you know, Insigne. There's some really, really nice cards on the bench there. Uh, and it looks like a really, really good team. I'm not going to lie. I like the way it works. I like the Bundesliga side to the right. I like the, you know, the Premier League Serie A as well to the left. Uh, it just look, looks like a really nice balanced team. The one upgrade, or the first upgrade, I should say, um, I'm looking at, is that Kimmich in centre-back. I know he might be brilliant, but um, you could even take out Hector if you want as well. You could switch them around uh, and put in maybe Klosterman Road to the final, or, you know, Upa Meccano, someone along the lines of that. Actually, Upa Meccano could be a massive show. That's what I'd say. One to watch your inform Upa Meccano, or team of the season whenever you're watching this. Uh, switch Kimmich back to centre-mid, uh, get Hector out and put in one to watch... Um, Uwe Meccano, that's who I get there, or someone along the lines of that. Uh, and then the next upgrade, I think, as well, maybe looking to upgrade that Theo if you want to upgrade to his inform or, you know, something along the lines of that so you get this link to Tomori as well, which looks like a very, very decent upgrade. And then eventually, you don't have to do this right now or whatever, but the next upgrade then eventually as well, maybe looking at... Um, actually, no, then he'd be off chem. Maybe upgrading Pogba to his, you know, winter wildcards eventually and stuff as well. But it looks like a really, really good team. Out of 10, honestly, I like the look of it. I'm going to give it a 7... 7.2, that's what I'm going to give it. It looks like a nice team, bro. Keep grinding as well and stuff. Uh, and moving on to the next one. Le, yes, lads. The next team we do have is from Animations. Hey, bro, here from the team reviews. Around 50k upgrades, uh, opinions and upgrades and encouragement. Keep up the great work. I appreciate that massively as well, Animations. Let's get straight into your team uh, and have a quick look at what it's saying to us. Uh, and yeah, look at the team. It looks really, really nice. I do like the look of it. The one upgrade, first of all, I would say. That Shalabam may be behind the power curve just a little bit. I know he's still on full chem and stuff. But um, what I would try and do there is what I would do. Maybe take him out. Uh, maybe he's insane for you. Maybe you want to keep him in there. That's perfectly fine as well. But what I would do, take him out, pop in Jordan Henderson, uh, and he get the, you know, the strong link to Salah and the perfect, or strong link to Henderson. I think he'd be a massive, massive upgrade on Shalaba. Uh, and it'd just be, you know, a big upgrade for the team overall and stuff as well. Uh, and maybe then you could put in... Um, up top because he'd be on full chem then as well you could put in Defoe up top if you really really wanted to because he would be you know good and stuff over Origi but maybe you like Origi maybe you're a Liverpool fan whatever you might want to keep him in there then eventually you know like yourself if Varane gets another special card or if you, you know his flashback obviously I don't think he did or whatever but you know another version of him you get him in centre back uh, and maybe upgrade the left back to a team that you're Cancelo or something but honestly animations big ups bro the first upgrade I definitely would do is looking at Jordan Henderson save up for him uh, and over Shalaba out of 10 the team's looking really really nice Everyone's on full chem and stuff. Um, well, except except um, Saliba. Out of 10, honestly, I think this team is a nice, nice team. I think I give it an 8 out of 10. There's some nice aspects. I love, love the Firmino and stuff as well. And yeah, moving on to the next one. The next team we do have, lads, is from Sky Titans, I believe. It is Sky Titans. Um, thank you very much for sending the team, bro. Looking at the team, it's a really, really nice team. The likes of Puskas is insane. Um, I think this could be Omar. I do apologize if it isn't. But uh, I really, really like the look of the team. I don't. It mightn't be. I think this could be his Road to Glory team, though. Uh, if I am wrong, I do apologise about that, lads, but uh, yeah. Looking at the team, in the left mid role, I think the man it needs to be upgraded a little bit. Um, who to upgrade is the question. You might want to get a son in there, an inform son, um, inform man himself if you want. Uh, but then, one, the next thing I would say, you don't need it for chemistry, and, then, and Luke Shaw is a little bit behind the power curve, I think, at this stage. So, maybe you want to look at, um, I was going to say Cancelo or someone. You could look at, you know, moving that Cancelo to left back or something, and getting in the right back, like Kyle Walker's um, Champions League card or something. Or, you know, there's a lot of lot of upgrades that you could do there. Um, and, yeah, maybe play Cancelo in the left-back role and just switch him over or whatever. Uh, and maybe looking at Sancho for birthday in right mid. I think that could be a nice upgrade as well on Ziyech. But, uh, again, team of the season coming up and stuff as well. You might want, you know, you might have other upgrades and stuff as well that you want to make yourself. Um, but, honestly, I think Man is the first upgrade. Then maybe looking at Shaw. Uh, and the team's looking really, really nice. Maybe a centre-back Dawson comes out in community tots. You might want to get that one. Or a few EFL players come in that is English or something. That could be a big upgrade on the team. But I really like the look of the team. Keep it up, bro. Keep up the nice work. Um, out of 10, I really would give it a 7.5. It's getting there. Uh, it's in the nice areas and stuff as well. Uh, and yeah, moving on to the next one. Thank you very much for sending the team. Moving on to the next one. Next team with lads we do have is from Jacob. Uh, MK is a fraud. 
Well, just for that reason, I don't really want to review the team. But uh, looking at it, it looks very, very nice. I'm not going to lie. It looks really, really solid. Uh, Mbappe in there and stuff as well. Even Weapon on the bench. Looks like a really, really solid team. Desai in there. Um, Defoe, you know, you can fit anyone in there for Defoe as well and stuff. The first upgrade I do think maybe, even though it's not even, you know, a must-need upgrade or whatever. You know, maybe you're looking at Mbappe. Um, I know he'd still be insane and stuff. But maybe looking at Mbappe. Maybe looking at um, a version of, you know, maybe you want to get try a different card instead of Mendes, you could get in someone different, like, I don't know, I mean, he does a link and stuff as well, but maybe a Neymar Cam version comes in or something, or his winter wildcard striker version, uh, and then you probably would need some more defensive players, so maybe looking at, you know, try and upgrade maybe to Philip Lam or Vieira, some of the icon SVCs coming out, instead of the likes of Bruce Guinea or something, I know they're very good players and stuff, but you might want to, you know, try and use different cards and stuff as well, it's up to yourself as well, but uh, the team is looking brilliant, it really, really is, the likes of Fernandinho, the likes of, you know, Mbappe, I mean, Rudiger's insane. It's a banging, banging team, but yeah, maybe looking at the likes of the Icon Moments SPCs coming out and stuff. Uh, maybe, you know, try and complete some of them and stuff, but uh, it's a really, really nice team, Jacob. Thank you very much for sending in. Out of 10, we'll give it an 8.8. .8. It's getting there. It's a really, really nice team, bro. I do like the look of it. Uh, and yeah, we've on to the next one. Yes, as the next team we do have is for Ethan. Big ups, Ethan, as well, bro. He said he just needs the goalkeeper and a position modifier down as well for, um, obviously, uh, Defoe. But uh, yeah, looking like a nice, very nice team there. Really, really like the look of it. What I would say, though, I know you might want him wet boot because you're a Brighton fan. But uh, in all honesty, if I'm upgrading the team, I would try and put in someone maybe like SCN. Uh, if you put in SCN there, I think it would be a big, big upgrade. But uh, it's up to yourself. SCN, Kante on the bench, Henderson. One of them players definitely would upgrade him. But uh, if you want, you know, you want to use him and stuff, that's perfectly fine as well. But uh, I would say instead of Defoe as well, maybe, you might want to get um, SCN in there. Because you do need more defensive players. There's a lot of attackers in there. Uh, and not really as much defenders and stuff, but it's kind of up to yourself as well and stuff, up to you. But uh, yeah, I do that as a first upgrade. Second upgrade, instead of getting Martinez, <clears throat> I would try and get Lafont in form or, you know, a French French league, uh, French goalkeeper. That's what I would try to do. You know, Lafont or if there's anyone else in the league, get them in goals. And then you get Varane on full cam and you get, um, you know, Medina on full cam as well, which is a very, very nice upgrade as well. He's got his 90 rated card now as well. But yeah, out of 10, the team is looking very, very nice. I like the team. I'll give it an 8.2 out of 10. That's what I do. Uh, and yeah, really nice team there, Ethan. Moving on to the next one. Thank you very much for sending in. And next one. Next one, lads, is for Ghosty's team. A uh, whole bunch is untradeable. Cancelo, Medina, Kante, Kocha, Neymar, and Messi is also untradeable. He has 20k coin balance at the moment. For the team review, lads, let's have a quick look at the team. I really like the look of the team. It looks very, very good there. Um, I really like the look of the team. First upgrade I'm looking at. He's maybe, I know he's kind of gone out of it now as well and stuff, but that Fernandinho card would have fit in nicely there in the left mid roll or in the left center mid roll. Um, but again, you know, you can't really get him at the moment, so that's fine. Um, the first upgrade probably would be Ben Yedder. Maybe if you can sell him or whatever, get him gone and try and get in Mbappe. He's not that expensive at the moment. I would try and get him up top uh, and I think he'd be a big, big upgrade there as well. Um, Medina's not on full chem, is he? No. So maybe get up, you know, a Donnarumma in goals or someone in goals that'd be upgrade on him. Maybe, you know, you, you could get Bizot, I suppose, or someone in the goals, or Lafont. There's, there's loads of um, French goalkeepers you can get in there uh, that would upgrade him. Uh, and then he'd be on full game as well and stuff, so that'd be a decent option there as well. Um, but yeah, that's the first one. I maybe upgrade the goalkeeper, maybe looking at a left mid, left centre mid. You could look at, you know, a Premier League midfielder, maybe the likes of a Fabinho, um, one of his cards. Or you could look at, um, you know, any, like, Firmino's foot birthday. Any kind of card like that uh, that you do want there as well. But uh, yeah, I'd try and get Mbappe as well and stuff. Maybe leave Ndidi for now. Maybe get Mbappe. Or you could get like the likes of a De Bruyne or someone that would be on full chem and left mid roll. But honestly, I really like the look of the team. Um, actually, you know what I've just realised? He's on full chem because of Akacha. Never mind that. Scrap that. Yeah, I would get Mbappe up top and maybe get a different goalkeeper uh, to get Medina on full chem. I like the look of the team, bro. Keep grinding. Big ups to you, Ghosty. And thank you very much for the team. Moving on to the next one. Oh, oh out of 10. Uh, out of 10. Um, 7.8. We'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's getting there, bro. Nice team. Uh, moving on to the next one. Next team, lads, we do have is going to be for Zex Panda. If I did say that wrong, I do apologize as well. But yeah, moving into this team, lads, the only thing I see immediately is going to be Griezmann off chemistry uh, up top. And then, you know, that's uh, Martin's off chem and stuff as well. What I would do there, I know he'd still be off chem um, to Lisso, but I don't think it'd be that much of an issue. I would get in um, instead of him up top um, instead of Griezmann. I would get Ben Yedder's in form or signature signings, whichever one. He got around 50,000 coins a moment. Get him in there. He'd be on Martin's beyond full chem. You know, it just makes a lot of more sense. Uh, ben Yedder himself be on full chem. And you get, you know, 100 chem on the team. Alanga can stay there because, um, you know, he's an absolute baller in that. But um, maybe in the right-back role, you might want to upgrade to the likes of um, Hakimi. Uh, he's in form. He's one to watch. 
his, you know, there's loads of special cards, team of the year, whatever you want. Uh, and yeah, I like the look of the team, I really, really do. Maybe you want to upgrade that midfielder to the likes of um, Renato Sanchez or someone. He could be a massive upgrade as well, his signature signings or road to the final, whatever one you want to do there instead of Tolisso. But again, it's up to yourself, you don't have to do too much. But yeah, definitely get him up top, maybe a right back, uh, and maybe upgrade Sanchez. Out of 10, I like the look of the team. And 8 out of 10 for Anthony Alanga as well and stuff. But yeah, moving on to the next team. Thank you very much for that, bro. Uh, and moving on to the next one. Next team, lads, is going to be from Jay the Goat, the Absolute King. Thank you very much for sending your team as well, bro. I'm looking at this team here, though. I think he's a Chelsea fan. From just a first off, uh, first view, whatever, I have a feeling he's a Chelsea fan. What I would do with this team, again, it probably isn't like a starter team kind of thing. Um, but in all honesty, I think you need to upgrade a lot of areas of this team. Maybe looking at, instead of um, Thiago Silva, getting in Rudiger, if, even if it's something like that, you know, getting in Rudiger, he'd be a better option there. Uh, Defoe up top is a really, really nice option, to be fair, like that. Um, but maybe, you know, upgrading, maybe put some chem cells on players uh, and just upgrading them overall like that. Then maybe looking at, um, you know, the likes of more OP players, the likes of um, an Alex Tellers in left back over Shaw could be better. Uh, I know it's, it looks like a downgrade, but you know what I mean, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe Kyle Walker in right back would be a good option. Um, I know you might want to keep some of the aspects of Chelsea, but just some of the... Um, some of the players could be better. Maybe save up for a Kante or something. Oh, you know, team of the season coming up. You'll have a lot of options to um, upgrade your team in that. Uh, and, you know, maybe getting Sancho in right wing. I could be um, a downgrade as... Well, he'd probably be an upgrade on the ZH and he'd get to fall on full chem. So, probably would be a good option there. But, yeah, just the likes of Kante or, you know, more OP players and stuff like that. Uh, and definitely put, you know, Rudiger in centre-back. I think that'd be a good option. Uh, and keep grinding, bro. You know, you know what you're doing. Get your team ready and stuff. Coming into Tots, you should be packing some good players. And, yeah, big ups for the team. The team out of 10... I would give it a 6 out of 10 because you've got the foe in there. But you know yourself, I think, it needs a bit of an upgrade and stuff. Foden's nice in there and stuff. Uh, keep grinding. Maybe a few chem styles wouldn't do the worst. Uh, and yeah, big ups for the team, bro. Thank you very much for sending that in. Moving on to the next one. Next team, lads, we do have... I think this is from Hammerhead. If I do say... If I'm wrong about this, do point me out in the comments, lads. But uh, I think it could be his team. It looks very, very nice. He was on about this last night in the stream uh, with Payet and stuff. I do like to like a Payet in there. I do. If you put, you know, the right manager... He'd be on full chem, or 8 chem as well, which isn't bad at all, to be fair. Um, and yeah, like the look of the team, the first upgrade, in my opinion, I would do is probably looking at the Davinson Sanchez. Maybe getting the likes of Mings or someone uh, who'd be a better option there like that. Maybe looking at the goalkeeper like Lloris or someone, but honestly, Jose Sa for now is perfectly fine. Maybe a De Gea um, when he comes out in the team of the season and that. But we'll see what happens there as well. Uh, but in all honesty, I really like the look of the team. If you really did want to upgrade, um, you know, Payet to someone you could look at, you know, Yarmolenko's on your bench. I'm sure you know that as well yourself, but uh, I would personally keep him in there. I think he could be a good option. He's really, really, I do enjoy using his card and stuff as well. Uh, and I like the look of the team, the West Ham fan as well and stuff from what I can see. Uh, it looks very, very nice. But yeah, first upgrade, definitely Mings. Maybe you want to wait for um, the likes of a team of the season, Diaz or something, uh, or team of the year Diaz from Ping as well or whatever. But yeah, like the look of the team, bro. Keep grinding. Uh, and that would be my first and second upgrade, probably the goalkeeper as well. But uh, it depends on stuff, what's tradable, what's untradable, and what you prefer. But uh, keep grinding with the team. I like the look of it. Really, really nice. Um, so nice West Ham players in there as well and stuff. Uh, and yeah, keep grinding. Out of 10, honestly, it's getting an 8.5 out of 10. I really like the look of it. Maybe a few upgrades from the team this season and that. And yeah, moving on to the next one. Thank you very much for that. Moving on to the next one. Yes, lads, the next team is going to be from Claps, I believe. I think this could be him. If I'm, I'm wrong, uh, I do apologize. But I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but I could be wrong again. I could be wrong at all. But uh, yeah, looking at the team, it looks like a really, really nice team. The likes of, you know, you've upgraded from last week with Roberto Carlos. Uh, it looks like a really, really banging team. Ryan Kent in there and also Madwiki. Looks like a very, very nice addition. What I would do, though, however, if you're looking at it as a chemistry point of view and stuff as well, Kent is not enough chemistry and Madwiki is not really enough. But again, there probably are an eight chems, so it's not too bad, but it's up to yourself what you want to do. What I would do, though, honestly, is take out um, Ryan Kent and maybe look at Bruno's Team of the Year nominee. I think he could be a good option there. And then in the right wing role, maybe look at Martin's um, for fantasy upgrade as well as well and stuff. I think that'd be a massive upgrade. You get Mbappe on full chem, you get everyone on full chem, except um, Nuno Mendes in right wing, but our right back role. But honestly, I think it's a really, really nice team. Love the team. Um, obviously, more upgrades and stuff coming with team this season. Banging team out of 10, honestly. If you can do them upgrades and stuff, probably give it an 8.5 out of 10 as well. It's a really nice team. And that's where we're going to wrap things up for today's video, boys. Thank you very much for sending all the teams, lads. Really, really means the world. Uh, and again, what you need to do, lads, I'll leave them linked in the description. Exclamation mark PSN in the chat. Uh, and exclamation mark Xbox in the chat as well for the gamer tags. But anyways, I'll leave them in the description down below, lads, on the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll catch you boys next week with the next review video. Peace.